great artist. Oh, that's probably what happened here. Used a great artist to do a culture bomb somewhere. He may have been working towards a cultural victory. He had a lot of it. Uh, but, you know, something here happened. I think maybe he lost a lot of cities. <laughs> uh, espionage. I had a lot just by base of, just based on the fact that I had a lot of cities, and they all had courthouses, and that's all. It's not like I was spending any money on it. No one was working on an espionage economy. Uh, potentially America, but you know what probably was more than anything else, is they had the Scotland Yard built. They popped a, a great uh, spy at some point. Demographics. We are number one in virtually everything. Life expectancy, not quite. We did have a couple of cities with some... Um, some unhealthiness because they were some jungle for a while. I think most of that's been cleaned up at this point. But import exports, I don't know. Never know how to count this. Like, who are we going to export to? We're just too big. Top five cities. Well, by the end of it, we owned. Oh, not quite all of it. So Mutal was very good. Had three wonders, and it was I, it was a good city. Very big because it had lots of food, and it had so many hills producing, so we could actually uh, build some some wonders. Although we actually just stole Stonehenge. Rome. The Colossus, I think, did a lot for us. I think it was a good one to build. Nidoros. Interesting. The Vikings. We never took this one over. They had the Great Wall. Atlanta, we never took. That was the really good one, and I would have loved to have that place there with the... Uh, it had all the floodplains. Just ridiculous. If I'd owned this, it'd be size 25 at this point, I think. And Lakama. One of our actual cities, I think. Or did we take it from... No, I think we built that one. I'm not sure. Statistics? I don't know. I don't really care about the screen too much. We built 49 farms. You can see how important food is. 55 mines. Only 14 cottages. Oh, oh, cottages plus hamlets plus villages and towns. So the most things we had were these, which is usually what happens. That's why we had so much money. And our t final score, 89,618. It ranked us as good as Augustus Caesar, which is interesting because we actually played as Julius Caesar. Uh, but it just means that we are the best we could possibly have been in terms of leadership, in terms of the game. Or actually off the scale, and if we get the final scoreboard... Um, wait, what? Oh, on this computer! This is the only game I had since I reinstalled, so I don't know how this compares to my other wins, but I bet you this is potentially my best score ever. I'm not sure. We're very good. I'm very happy with that. I hope you enjoyed this... Let's play Civ 4, and hold on to your horses, because in three days, three days, Civ 5 is going to be out, and I am going to be playing that for sure, for sure. You can expect a Let's Play. I will. My first game will be a Let's Play, so it'll probably be really shitty, because I won't know what's doing, what I'm doing, but I'll play on an easier difficulty, and uh, I don't know, we'll learn it together. It's going to be a lot of fun. So, uh, yeah, hope you like this, and I'll see you guys next time, folks.